It's not a space to drop. It's me and her. And we're vegan RV. Yep. Why are we so excited? I don't know why. Because we're about to tell you a story about one of our most favorite trips. Yep. An amazing, amazing day. Yep. So coming up, you will see um, a trip that we took in Denali Park, mm -hmm. which starts out with a most amazing... <laughs> I thought you were going <laughs> to... What just happened? I thought you were trying to clap it like a kill a mosquito. <laughs> I flew away. Wow. All right, everybody. You you saw it here. All right, we took a uh, a prop we took a not a prop plane, but we took it yeah. was a prop plane. Prop plane, six single prop. prop. Yep, six seater prop, single prop engine. Yep. Uh plane. Took it up uh, over by Denali, and then we landed in Kantishna, mm -hmm. which you'll see. I keep calling it Katishna, but it's Kantishna. Yeah. Uh, and from there, after we landed, we took a around 90-mile bus ride mm -hmm. back to the entrance of Denali. Yeah. So... Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed it. It was literally yeah. like wow. the bucket list thing to do. And it was amazing. If you're ever up here, definitely go do it. Yep. So stay tuned. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. That's ten. That means crazy bucket list. Do this. Where are we at? Oh, we're in Kantishna. Kantish. Kantishna. No, I thought there was an N. K A N T I S. Well, anyway, yeah, we'll, whatever. We're uh, here. It'll be on the screen. You need to get here. We got here by Six probably one of plane. the scariest things I've ever had to do, but it was amazing. It was a single prop plane. There were six of us in there, five passengers, one pilot. Mm -hmm. Pilot was freaking awesome. He showed us all the stuff, had all the history. He's been flying this area for 40 years. Yeah. And Roger. Roger. Roger Dodger. Roger Roger. The views. Oh, the like views so were incredible. Basically, they, he took us up to within three miles of Denali. And then, so he'd come past it one way on the north face and then back across it the other way yep. on the north face. And then he circled around and did the south face. It Just, was awesome. And this yeah. was last minute for us. Mm -hmm. We had talked about doing this. Shout out to Tom at... Good cannabis, Good cannabis yep. for giving us this tip yeah. to do Katisha Air and do the uh, bus back. Yeah. It has been incredible so far. Yeah. A couple nice. of things like, you know, if you're going to do this, pay with cash, cash discount, right? Mm -hmm. Use your park pass. You get $10 off each bus ticket. Mm -hmm. So a couple ways to save some money. Yep. Because it was, I think, total for Laura and I was, how much did I say? Five seventy for the two of us, and we got the disc, the, both of those discounts, yeah. and one hundred million percent worth it. I have one more tip. Yeah. So. Um, oh, you well, actually, real quick. Yeah. Uh, Ten dollars for a lunch, and they'll bring you lunch. Serve it here in this cabin that's mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. Uh, and they have vegan food on the menu. Yep. You can also stay here. Yes. Or not. Yeah, All right. What was your tip? Oh, my tip was going to be to not pay for the upgraded flight because if somebody else on the flight pays for the upgraded flight, they're going <laughs> to take you get to ride along. along. <laughs> so. Yeah. So there, yeah, there's two flights here. There's the 30 minute flight that's a direct from the entrance to Denali National Park to Katishna or you can have the upgraded which is 55 minutes and they take you off to Denali weather permitted permitted you can even see the thing because only 30 percent of the people that come here actually ever see Denali because it basically creates its own weather around it yes. um, and we were so so 
yeah. lucky. We're not going to talk too much. We're yeah. gonna, just going to show you everything yeah. that we saw on the way up here. So anyway, like, yeah. please put this on your list. Do it, do it, do it. That yeah. was Bucket off list. the charts. Definitely. That was off the charts. Yeah. I don't even know how else yeah. to say it. Okay. And then you land in that. Yeah. I mean, what the heck? Oh, we also got to see some animals. Yeah, we saw some um, caribou on. Uh, they were on in some uh, uh, snow patches. Ice, yeah, ice patches. Yeah, yeah. they were uh, keeping cool. Because it's real, you know. Yep. Uh, smoking hot, to like seventy degrees or something here. So. Yeah. Also, bring bug spray. Uh, there's the yellow jacket. Yeah, we don't want that. All right. <laughs> anyway, love you. See ya. Bye. Vegan RV. Hmm, which one are we going to get? Oh, our ride's here. Does anybody have bear spray?
Alright, so let's make it look like we did something during the break while they watch that. Okay. Alright. Oh my god, you're back! Yeah. Alright, so that plane ride was awesome. Yeah. It was so, so good. All that footage. Yeah. Just yeah. and it's it's crazy. Like to me the pictures are beautiful but and they're like incredible. But being there But was... being there was like a totally different experience. Mm -hmm. A couple of the things that we didn't catch. We didn't they didn't get to see the caribou. Did no. They? No, they didn't get to see any of the animals from the air. Right. So from the air, we actually, and it was really quick. Obviously, you're flying. Uh, it's not like you're going 100 miles an hour, but you're going pretty fast. Uh, we saw three caribou that were in an ice patch, mm -hmm. uh, and they were running, so it was kind of cute. The three of them were running together. We saw a couple of moose standing in uh, some of the, like, standing ponds that were out there. And then uh, we saw one more caribou. Yeah. So about four, I think. Yeah, from the plane. Yep. Um, so that was awesome. Now you're going to see us taking the bike, the bike ride, <laughs> the bus ride back. Yeah. So what happens is you're basically down at the 92nd mile, which is where Kant, Kantishna mm -hmm. is. Um and it's basically what it's the green bus and mm -hmm. so it's included in the money that you pay mm -hmm. and it's a one-way ticket back to the beginning yeah which, which is, is the, the visitor center the visitor center on yeah. the north denali side mm -hmm. which is where your car is <laughs> right um it's 90 miles we went i think our bus driver drove us a little fast we got back pretty quick we we're back by 6.30. I think we were actually yeah. scheduled to come in at 7.30. Um, but on the ride, you don't have any of the notes out here for me to go by. Okay. <laughs> now we have our notes. Aren't you so excited? <laughs> All right. So uh, on the bus ride back, there are several spots where you stop to take bathroom breaks. Mm -hmm. Some of them have like visitor center. In fact, there's two. And they're the main ones, and that's Ileson, right? Yeah. And the other big one, or bigger one, is Tolkat. Tolkwit? Tolkwit. I don't it's know. like chocolate with a T. I think. It's like if you're like, hey man, I really like some chocolate right now. <laughs> it's like you have a terrible list. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. And what's crazy between those two is where they tell you you're going to see the most wildlife. In fact, on the first part of the bus ride up to Isleson, mm -hmm. I don't even think we saw anything. We didn't. And, well, they say that you probably won't see much there because there are a lot of lodges out at Kantishna. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of people activity. Yep. Um, Actually, at Wonder Lake, at Wonder Lake, they say if you go out hiking, mm -hmm. you'll see a good bit. But, like, we just... You drive by Wonder Lake. In fact, like it started getting cloudy, um, so you couldn't even really see Denali except for like kind of outlines, which yeah. you'll, I think you'll see in some of the photos yeah. coming up. And the but like after being on the airplane, the airplane it moves. It's a little <laughs> it's a little plane. So like when, and then when you get on the bus, the first like I don't know ten miles. Mm -hmm are like loopy loops and I was not feeling all that great. Yeah. But thankfully everybody had their windows down. Uh, so if you happen to get car sick or motion whatever, sickness, motion sickness, like take wanna, something. Yeah. Uh, Cause it was a little rough. Um, but so we get to Isleson and that's where I'm at, like a lot of the buses that come into the park will stop there. They don't go all the way to Kantishna. Mm -hmm. So you can usually, like, there's a bus leaving, like, every half hour. So if you want to switch buses and do some hiking there, mm -hmm. it's awesome. So we got off the bus, and we're like, oh, we're going to hike. So we throw on our bags, and we go out, and we're talking to the ranger. And as we're talking to the ranger, 
another ranger runs in and he goes, you need to call in a 700. What's a 700? Are you ready? What is it? Bears in the area. Yeah. So, after we realized what a code 700 was. We ran outside. We ran outside. Because <laughs> we want to see those bears. And we saw them. So, we got to see, it was a mama grizzly and two babies. Mm -hmm. And they were near some people. They weren't, they didn't bother them. Mm -mm. The people were smart. They stayed away. Yeah. Um, and were very alert. They weren't screaming or anything because mm -hmm. the bears just kind of ignored them. Yeah. Really. yeah. But they they were close. I mean, like yeah, really close. close. So, it was cool. That was our first bears. So, yeah. that's. Grizzlies. Three grizzlies. Yep. How many grizzlies did we end up seeing? Six. She didn't hold up her fingers. Yeah. Like she's supposed to. Yeah. We saw six. So we saw two sets of moms with two cubs. Yeah. It was amazing. They were all super playful, like rolling around and falling, and mm -hmm. the babies were really cute. Yeah, so cute. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. So. We have some video, so. Yeah. Uh, in some of... Like, yeah, some of the wildlife, it gets so far away that, like, the camera is really hard to pick up. Yeah. In fact, the next thing that we saw was the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my whole life. In yeah. fact, so we're on the bus, right? And we're driving along. And this lady in the front seat, she goes, caribou! And so, like, you know, everybody's like, what? <laughs> Everybody's looking outside, and the bus driver stops, and everybody's like, where the hell is it? And she points at the side of the mountain. The side <laughs> of a mountain. And we're like, we, we don't see what you're talking about until we throw on the binoculars. And oh my god. It was a herd of over 100 caribou on the side of a mountain in an ice patch. So basically at this time of year, it's considered warm. <laughs> I don't know about warm. But uh, it's warm to them, and they're staying away from the mosquitoes because the mosquitoes mm -hmm. don't like the cold. So they congregate on these, like, ice patches on the sides of the mountains. Mm -hmm. And when you look at it, you'd swear it was just, like, dirt, yeah. snow. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. You'll see. I mean, it's not great video, but you'll see all these little dots in the snow, and those are all caribou. Yeah. It was... I wish we could have gotten it through some kind of crazy lens we yeah, just we, don't have that stuff we did get to look at it because the dude sitting behind us had um he took a picture of it with a lens that was like oh this dude long. his lens yeah he had and to you have could somebody see else all the lens. little caribou on there it was, was like oh god it was crazy i've never seen anything like that yeah. in my life maybe in like some national geographic something but yeah. like never in real life and i don't even know how this lady saw it yeah because if you looked at it and i have good vision i have really good vision yeah. Uh, you would think it was dirt ice. So if you're ever on one of those bus rides, look at the ice patch. Look at all the ice patch, especially if you're like in the yeah. later months and it's warm. I would say above 50 yeah. <laughs> is warm out here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that was incredible. Mm -hmm. Then we drove a little bit more and we saw another caribou and he was like right on the side of the the one trotting down Street, the road. Yeah, you'll see him trotting down the road. He is really fun. When did we find the... Have we already seen the other three bears? Well, we just talked about the yeah, other three okay. grizzlies. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. That, yeah, then we saw three more grizzlies. And then on the way out, we saw another thing that we haven't seen so far. What was it? The doll sheep? Doll sheep. Yeah. Yeah. So, they are white. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. There's, like, they stick out like a sore thumb. Like, it, just, mm -hmm. everything here is green right now. The only thing, the only way you wouldn't see them is if they were in snow. Yeah. Uh, but they were white as could be. And there were two, like, there was a set on one side of the road. And we mm -hmm. pull up a little bit more. And there was, like, a whole bunch on the other yeah. side. So, we, we, we kind of, like, hauled past it because the bus driver was like, I don't want to cut them off. They're trying to cross the road. Mm -hmm. So, we kind of... Yeah, but we've got a little bit of video of each. Yep. Yeah. And then, you know, I, we, let's see, that was it. Oh, Real. he pointed out, we don't have any video of this, but uh, there was a Harrier Falcon. Oh, yeah, Harrier Falcon. It Another. was like cruising right um, alongside the We bus. saw him, but that thing was booking it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think. 
That's oh, it. We, well, we okay. We must have seen another moose. We did see another moose, and that was after the bus ride. And oh, one yeah. of the girls on the bus asked if anybody was heading south, and nobody really was. And she was only 10 miles away, so yeah, okay. we told her we'd give her a ride, hopped in the car, and we took off down mm -hmm. the road. And on the way there, we're crossing over the railroad tracks, and Laura <laughs> looks out, and she goes, Hey, it's an animal! <laughs> Like what? What the hell? And we all look oh, over, and it's day. a moose. And but uh, at that point, I was going sixty miles an hour. And <laughs> I mean, yes, it was an animal. Next time, just go, hey, it's a moose, and mm -hmm. I don't have to look at what it is. It was pretty funny. So it was, mm -hmm. it was another female moose. We haven't seen one with a bull with a rack yet. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing we haven't seen. Though, oh, actually, at uh, Tollcat, Taco it. We saw another caribou that they'll see yeah. that ran right by us. Yeah. He was like up in the woods and everybody's like, oh, there's a caribou. And then he ran out of the woods and ran down the road. So that was cool. Yes. Yeah. So they'll see that too. Um, but yeah, we haven't seen a bull moose, but at Tocolet, hopefully that's the right thing. I don't know. It starts with a T. It's the only one that starts with a T. Yeah. We held up because we found out moose shed their horns every year, mm -hmm. right? We held one. Like one half, like just one side. Half of the rack, yeah. That thing had to have been 40 pounds. Easy. Oh, it was so heavy. They're... It was ridiculous. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Their necks must be crazy strong. Yeah. It, it was, yeah. that was, it was kind of like mind boggling to me, like yeah. how heavy it was. Like we, there was a caribou rack there and that was pretty easy to pick up. Man, that, the moose one, that was crazy. Yeah. So heavy. But anyway, man, oh. I would say if. If people get the chance, that to me is one of the big, like there's bucket list items and we weren't even expecting like that much out of this. I was expecting it to be awesome, but like it was, it was crazy because especially from the air, the airplane was, it's so disorienting because like you're flying over these mountains and you know, you're way up in the air. In fact, when we're flying, when you see the video, that's at 11,000 feet. And the the mountain is still twenty thousand is twenty thousand feet tall, so it's another nine thousand feet above us. Yeah, like that is crazy. Yeah, and it doesn't come out in the photo. Like when you look at the pictures, it doesn't come out that way. Yeah, like you don't realize how big that mountain is compared to everything else around it. It's to the next highest peak. I think is still three thousand feet taller. Yeah. That's just crazy. Anyway, a whole half a mile. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Cool. Well, enjoy the videos following this because mm -hmm. they're just, I mean, we had a blast. Yeah. If you come up here and the weather's right, I mean, we got really lucky. Yeah, this is definitely like doing the flight in and the bus back is like if you can only do one thing, you only have one full day that you can spend, then that's a good way to do it. Yeah, and it's like we left it, well, we got there at like noon, we mm -hmm. flew at noon, mm -hmm. and we were back by 6.30, 7 yeah. o'clock, and you can, I think the last bus arrives at like 9, out of the park, so you can still have a couple hours to go hike. Yeah. And in fact, in Cantishna, you can stay at the lodges. Yeah. So you can just stay with Cat Air, or... Any of the, there's a couple of other places to mm -hmm. stay. And you can stay out there for however long you want and then fly back. I mean, it's expensive to stay out there. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But, how I recommend it. Yeah. Anyway, enjoy the videos. Yep. We'll stop talking. We'll see you in a few minutes. Yeah. How many minutes? I don't know. This <laughs>
Oh, oh, there's your grizzlies. Yeah. Oh, look at that little one. Yeah, I've been in this area for a while. They were there. Yeah. They were there? Look at him yeah. run! <laughs> oh, you are four hours ago. Oh. They kept yeah. us. Stay there, we block them. Thanks for sticking around to the mm -hmm. end. Uh, I mean, I hope this goes on your bucket list. I don't know how you feel. Yeah, definitely, definitely bucket list. Yep. Um, yeah, it, it was just incredible. Yep. I can't even, like the videos, I mean, keep in mind they're coming out of my little iPhone. 
and you know I'm trying to enjoy it and, and document it at the same time yeah. so I can't catch everything everything and it, everything is so much more amazing in real life you can only yep. catch so much with video yep. um, yeah so definitely put it on your bucket list get out here hopefully yep. Let us know in the comments below if it's going to make it on your bucket list. Or if you've already done it, let us know mm -hmm. your thoughts. Yeah, Share what else with everybody. Yeah, because yeah, it was killer. And again, I just want to say thanks to Tom up in Fairbanks for telling us about this. Mm -hmm. It's been, it's yeah. been mind-blowing. Yeah. Anyway. Best day. All right, cool. Well, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you don't, don't click anything. Just <laughs> click away. Uh, Laura has an awesome... Instagram and Facebook that's run for Vegan RV. She does all the stuff there. So uh, anyway, go and check that stuff out. And we'll see you next time. Also subscribe if you want more. Yeah. When you subscribe, you get updates when we make these things. Yep. Which is like once an hour. It's not once an hour. Once. It's when we feel like it. Once every time we feel like it. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. We'll see you guys later. See ya.